all, I am popping in here to say if you have a toxic relationship in your life, ending it is the best thing you can do for your mental health and your overall feeling of joy. So I was in a situation recently where I ended a toxic relationship. Now, those of you who know me well, it was not my husband. It was nothing to do with my family. But it was a toxic relationship uh, nonetheless. And it doesn't have to be a significant other or, um, you know, someone in your, your family circle for it to be a relationship and something that's hurting you more than you may realize. So if you find that you're always striving for worthiness, if you find that you are kind of chasing after somebody, right? To be understood. I think that's one of the biggest things that happens in toxic relationships is we feel so misunderstood and we want to be understood. And so we're striving for that over and over and over again. And the other person just is not receptive. And it leaves us feeling like it's unfinished. Like we need to do something, say something, be something so that we can be understood. If you are finding yourself in a relationship like that anywhere in your life, whether it is with your significant other, a family member, or a coworker or a boss, ending that relationship is the best thing you can do for yourself. Listen, you're not going to change their mind. You're not going to suddenly come up with the exact right thing to say that's going to make the relationship better because toxic relationships are just freaking toxic. I feel so much lighter today and so much more in control of my world and the things that I'm doing because I ended that icky relationship. So if you find yourself struggling for worthiness, uh, really working hard, I, I told my husband, you know, uh, it feels like almost like when I was in high school and I was chasing after a guy, right? Like a little puppy dog, like trying to make him like me. <laughs> um, it's not good for you. And the best thing you can do is end it. Let me know if you have struggled with the same thing. I'd love to get your thoughts on how you feel after saying adios to someone who is just not the right fit in your world. Talk to you guys later.